What's good everybody? Happy Barbie Heimer weekend. It is finally here and in this video I'm going to be focusing on all the different projection options for watching Oppenheimer this weekend. Now I know there's still a lot of confusion out there as there should be because no one really explains this that well. I know there's already a lot of videos out there with people trying to explain this. But in my experience, they're trying to be too fancy. They're over explaining. They're using aspect ratios. They're throwing numbers at you. I know you guys don't have time for all that. You got kids, you got families, you got jobs. You just want to know, Andy, if I go to the movie, which should I choose and what will I be looking at? So don't worry, I got you. So for Oppenheimer, there are four main options to check out opening weekend. You've got the 70 millimeter IMAX version, the regular 70 millimeter version, which trust me, there's nothing regular about it. The digital IMAX, or also known as LIMAX, and then the standard 2K projection that you would have at your local theater for any other movie. So let's jump right into it. The 70 millimeter IMAX version is by far the highest quality that you can watch this film in. Now before you get too excited and you're like, oh, I got an IMAX ticket, let's go. There's a very, very heavy chance that you just have the standard digital IMAX ticket. The reason why is there are very few theaters in the country. I think it's 20 to 30 theaters in the entire United States that have the 70 millimeter IMAX print. And simply put, that's because there are just, those projectors just are not common because movies are not shot like this normally. So what does 70 millimeter IMAX mean? Well, in this instance, it's actually pretty simple. Christopher Nolan shot this movie with big bulky IMAX cameras and he used actual film to record the movie on, old school style. The 70 millimeter just means that is the size of the film print. It is the largest and most detailed film print that exists. Before the digital revolution of the early 2000s, most movies were shot on 35 millimeter film. So that that gives you an idea, this film is twice the size over twice the detail of a standard film reel. Simply put, watching this movie on 70 millimeter film is comparable to a 12K experience. But what about the IMAX part of this? So true IMAX is a truly enormous screen. Think of uh, if you see like an IMAX uh, movie or clip at a museum. I actually live in the DC area, so the two uh, Smithsonian National Air and Space Museums actually have true IMAX screen. Rather than your standard movie theater screen, which is very wide, a true IMAX screen is six stories high and is also wraps around, is curved, it almost wraps around you. It's a truly enormous screen. I've had the pleasure of seeing a couple movies on this and it is truly incredible. However, I have never seen a 70 millimeter film print on an IMAX screen, which is what this option is. So let's try to wrap this first version up. If you're lucky enough to see the 70 millimeter print in true IMAX, you will be seeing what exactly what Christopher Nolan's vision was through the viewfinder shooting the movie. It will be a direct copy of the film that was rolling through his IMAX cameras. And again, that'll be an enormous 12K experience. The second best option is the standard 70 millimeter. And again, there's nothing standard about this. So there are a lot more theaters, still not many, but a lot more theaters that offer the 70 millimeter version of the movie. So the screen is not IMAX. It'll be more of a standard size rectangle movie screen that you're more used to, but you will still be seeing the movie on film. It will still be a copy of the 70 millimeter film that the movie was shot on. So I already know you're now thinking, Andy, what is the difference between the 70 millimeter IMAX and the 70 millimeter? Well, again, the screen is more of a standard rectangle size. So the top and bottom of the picture that you would see in the IMAX version, that'll be cropped out. Think about when you watch a movie in 4K or Blu-ray at home, you got the top and bottom part of the screen is black bars. It'll be like that. Now you won't see the black bars actually at the movie theater because movie theater screens are already made for the aspect ratio of what that widescreen is. And don't worry, while the IMAX version gives you more on the top and bottom of the picture, the movie was edited with only the 70 millimeter rectangle vision in mind. So while you'll, you'll be missing some of the picture, you won't be missing any detail from the movie. So again, this is still a direct copy of the 70 millimeter film. If you're able to see the standard 70 millimeter version, you will still be watching a film projection of the movie and it will be in 12K, just like the IMAX version. It just won't be the tall IMAX experience. I'm lucky enough to live by a theater that has the 70 millimeter 
Actually, I believe it's the same exact auditorium that I was able to see the 70 millimeter Roadshow version of the Hateful Eight in back in 2016, or was that 2017? I don't know, it was the Quentin Tarantino movie. It was one of those years. And the reason why some theaters actually are able to show this on a 70 millimeter film reel is because of the Hateful Eight coming out. So you can thank Quentin Tarantino for that. Real quick, if you're enjoying this breakdown and you like movie talk here on YouTube, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. I try to give my review on a lot of new movies that come out. So I'll just throw that out there. Okay, back to the talk. Next, we have Digital IMAX, also known to people like myself as LIMAX. Now, don't get me wrong. I like seeing movies in standard IMAX. Uh, if you're curious what I'm talking about here, think about like the IMAX screen at your local AMC. That's what we're talking about. It's still taller and wider than a standard movie screen, for sure. But if you see Oppenheimer in digital IMAX, you're getting nowhere near the 12K experience of the film print. Digital IMAX is actually projected in the 3 to 4K range. It is definitely a better experience than seeing a standard version of a movie, but when we're talking about Oppenheimer and a Christopher Nolan film, you're still going to be losing a lot of resolution from the 70 millimeter version. That being said, if you can't get to the 70 millimeter standard cut, but your local theater has the has an IMAX, definitely still see it in this. Again, you're going to be getting uh, not as big as like a museum screen, but you're going to be getting the bigger IMAX screen you actually still will see some of that detail in the picture that is cropped in the standard 70 millimeter version. You're gonna get closer to the full screen experience that again, Christopher Nolan would have seen in his viewfinder filming the movie. That's gonna be converted from 12K down to about three, 4K. Again, still gonna look great, but it's not nearly the experience of the 70 millimeter detail. Also with IMAX, you'll get an enhanced sound experience that you actually might not get in the 70 millimeter, so there's that. And alas, we have the standard projection of the movie. Now, if this is all that's available in your area, don't freak out. You'll still be seeing a beautiful film in the same quality that you're going to see any other movie in. But the difference is big. So the screen's going to be cropped, similar to the standard 70mm version. You're just going to have the regular rectangle movie screen. And on top of that, that resolution from the film print is gonna be converted from 12K down to 2K, and it's also not gonna be a film reel. It's gonna be a digital projection. So you're taking that beautiful 70 millimeter 12K native, and you're converting it down to 2K and then running it through a digital projector. It'll look good, don't get me wrong. If that's all you have, it'll still be a good experience, but it'll be noticeably different than seeing the movie in one of the premium formats. So that's my breakdown of Oppenheimer's four versions in layman terms. There also might be a 35 millimeter version out there, although I haven't personally seen it. Just a quick aside at the end here, 35 millimeter is gonna be half of that 70 millimeter quality. So if you do have a 35 millimeter print near you, that's gonna be around 6K, 6K cropped rectangle. It's gonna look good. It'll still look better than the standard digital. So if that is an option around you, I haven't seen it, but if it is, you might wanna look into that as well. So I personally can't wait to see the 70 millimeter version this weekend. Let me know in the comments what version you guys were able to see. And maybe for fun, if you got the money, maybe hit a Tuesday night screening, Discount Tuesdays. Actually go out and watch different projection styles of the movie and then you can compare. So again, in the comments, let me know what you saw, how you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me and I hope I was able to help you out.